what's up my people welcome back to our channel so today we are here with a brand new banger we is going to be doing a q a with the taylor's family yes so just remember to like share comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell yes my people so let's get straight into the video, video. yes so question number one what is the hardest thing we face in our marriage? Wow. The hardest thing that I can remember facing in my marriage, it was when we just say got married and nothing never really said in another house at the time. And when my go to the fridge, did I look something to cook? Only thing I see it was flour and butter <laughs> and I end up go over to my husband and say nothing is not here to cook in the only thing where it's there it was only thing what was here at the time it was just flour and butter and I decided say I'm going to be cooking the flour and the butter for the dinner that is going to be the dinner for today and the thing about it guys I never would eat flour and butter yet and when wife you tell me I said boy a flour and butter will eat me I said flour and butter she said you want to eat I go eat and when she look about it, guys, trust me, we'd have to go back for your for next two. Come at me, never know, say, flour and butter so nice. Yeah, man, so that was my hardest challenge in our marriage, right? Yes, that was the hardest. Yes. Yes, so question number two Have you ever have a disagreement in your relationship? If yes, tell us who is the first to apologize. Yes. All right. Um, yes, we have a disagreement, of Definitely. course. Definitely. Most definitely. Sometimes if you have a disagreement, you get an agreement, right, Miss Pink? Definitely. <laughs> yes. Yes. But in my relationship, what I don't like when we have a disagreement, sometimes we don't have a argument, but just feel like more just want to say. Explode, though. <laughs> Yeah, man, we yes, that definitely. That is the way I feel. And then the next thing to eat, sometimes I feel like more of a say cause somebody to say speak about the disagreement with me and also just say up. Oh, but at the same time, mm -hmm. you don't want to do it for your person, walk away with the wrong intention. So you just have to just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Well, who will be the first to say apologize? Mr. Taylor. Yeah, I. Yes. Aye. Yes. Yeah man, I apologize because you know God called me as the man, as the leader, the lady, the house. Yes, so I'm gonna be the one for apologize and make sure the house in order, right? Definitely. Question number three. How is our journey so far on YouTube? Wow. Wow. That's one is a tough one. Really, All right. really tough one. So for me, my journey on YouTube, yeah, I can tell us say it's a good experience to say have, but at the same time, it come with lots of work, yeah, sacrifice. Okay. Guess what? Also, you gotta reach to some people where, you know, they might give some little bad vibes, like yes, want hmm? to discourage you. Yeah, they want to make you feel discouraged and make you feel like some boy. You know, YouTube, we had our foolishness. So. They put a serious note like YouTube, you for foolishness, say, oh, you're going down and that, you're not making no money, and so, but guess what? I can say to somebody that is watching the video right now, chase off of your dreams. Yes. Yeah, man, because guess what? It's not really my dreams, you know, it's my wife's dreams, right? And she, she do not do the YouTube a long time. And when she said to myself, why, babes? Want to do YouTube, you know? I never fully day in night. I mean, I say YouTube. Everybody see me and watch me on TV, phone and everything. Me, me I say no, man. But when I look at it, I me say no. We just have to just make our relationship, you know, work. Me have to consider her opinion and things and make sure she has her dream also. Yeah, man. Yes, so YouTube has been a journey for us, but in everything, you just have to be persistent and just continue to chase off of your dream. Yes, same way. Chase off of your dreams. Yeah, man. Exactly. So, question number four mm -hmm. How do we meet? A lot mm -hmm. of people have been requesting that video mm -hmm. and they want to know, but we soon release. Yeah, How man, we're so, we're so released, and trust me. Guys, that's when we release the video, 
it will be very, very interesting. Very interesting. Yes. But just a quick one on it. How do we meet to meet in Spanish Town KFC? Yeah, man. I was a top chef at KFC at Spanish Town. Yeah. Wow. And this pretty nice, beautiful girl just loved me so. Yeah, that's a lie. Handsome. So, so where, where do? So how would I do that? So now. Me play him look. Me don't make him chick, you know. Me look you. Yes, you. You see where you want. Say so after chase so after me do. Well, I could think. Good thing was to do. So <laughs> yeah. So probably me now wait for long. So but this time, this time, say listen. Me say one more. So me now make it pass All right. me. All yes. right. Then. So question number five. Do you plan to have more kids? I'm not sure about that one. You're not sure? What do you mean by you're not sure? I'm not. Seriously? Yes, because like, it may come with a lot of expense, as you know. Yes, so no. when you say kids, you say money, and when you say money, you say kids. So, for me, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, what about uh, you? Well, more, two more, guys. Two more. Yeah, I'm going to have to get it two more. Yeah. Yes. So two more, yeah, baby? So, no, yeah. question number six. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Well, my favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone. Why oh, yeah, in no style? That must say Home Alone. Home Alone, man. It's mm. like where I love it. I don't say my life. Stop, what, more than stop watch it. A lot of jokes and stuff. Like, trust me, Home Alone is something else. So, if nobody has not watched Home Alone, you need to check it out. Yeah, man, check yes. it out, man. Check it out. <laughs> So question number seven. What is one major lesson you learned in 2020? Wow. For me in 2020, my major lesson that I learned, I will say oh to love each other more. Yeah, that like, is the key. That is the key. Yes. Like they say, be my brothers and sister keepers. The Bible speaks about love your neighbor as you love yourself. Like and then my biggest thing when me I say give God thanks sir, this is going to be our first year we spent together since we married like anniversary and spend the whole entire year, year. together. Yes. And I have to give God thanks sir. I give God thanks because um when we get married we get a job and eventually me have to say six months overseas six months in Jamaica and then it was working out you understand so we thank God that um spend time with my family you know and family really matter you understand money not really say boy um totally matter overall long as you have some somebody or something to live for you understand and family is the number one key yes. to live for yes yeah, so that is what I the lesson that I learned. Yes. And um, for me, like the experience with the whole of us as a family being together for this year, trust me, is something so romantic. Yes. Cannot explain how much it means to me. If it's to say boy me and us they finally day together, the kids them and so forth, trust me, it's so amazing. Yes. So this is going to be our final Q and A question and answer. So tell me something that you like and dislike about each other. Alright, more than say like, more than say love. Definitely. And I go work with dislike first. What I dislike about my wife is sometimes she did it enough and she don't want to cook. You understand? I see she friend me, why baby you can't cook for me? You understand? Yeah, always you know me, she wants to cook. Yes. So what I love about my wife is why she always just make me feel good. Even when I feel down, she just encourage me. She's one of my motor motivator. Yeah. I really love you. Thank you, I love you both. <laughs> yes. So what I dislike about my husband. Like when I clean my place, a lady you wanna know me and say, alright? So when I clean the place and Ozzy come from Ozzy Road. Like, you know, I say my come come say fling down him clothes or I take off him shoes and I do stay at my place like seriously in a night or something just clean. 
No. <laughs> what I said, nasty nah, up here. And I yeah, I'm going to pull up my place and I don't like that. So, what I love about my husband, I love his determination. Anything he tell himself, say, him have to accomplish, trust him. He must do it him best of his ability. So, that is what I love about my husband. So, this journey comes to an end. So, just remember to like. Share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell that whenever time I upload a video, you can be notified. And see you in our next video. video.